One of my passions besides fishing is underwater photography and video work. I'm always trying to learn more about what's going on below me, but fishing and video work don't always complement each other. Both require an interesting habitat and a subject. There are five basic requirements to making good video. A camera, a lot of time, light, a subject, and some basic editing skills. On this day, I had perfect light, lots of time, and a lot of subjects. This type of shoal or structure has all the elements to attract fish. There's most likely going to be fish here at some point during the day. This is a food-rich habitat. You can't see a lot of life moving around in real time, but if you took an hour's worth of high-definition video and condensed it down to 30 seconds, you'd see what I mean be a very stealth slow motion environment. If you think a tortoise is slow you should see a quagga mussel in action. Hidden in the rocks, gravel, mussel shells and moss are goby, aquatic insects, crustaceans and all kinds of food. The shoal is alive and there's always going to be fish there to take advantage of that. Note that uh, most of the fish are approximately the same size and fish typically school in year class. But some of these are stockfish and some of them are naturals. And stockfish grow much faster than naturals. I guess you don't have to give a birth certificate if you want to join the school. Even the lone trout traveling with the whitefish is approximately the same size. I often get asked if the cameras uh, bother the fish and the answer to that is depends on what type of fish it is, what time of day and how aggressive they are. If you want good video work, chances are you can't start till after 10 o'clock when the light is good. If I drop down an AccuView camera just for viewing, it doesn't seem to bother them at all, but if I drop a tripod with another camera on it, that seems to spook them a little bit. They'll hang around, but they won't bite. Other times when they're aggressive, they'll come and look right in the camera and then go hit the bait. If you're fishing for panfish, they seem to get used to it in a hurry. You can sit there with your AccuView and watch them bite your bait all day. I've been slashing a small spoon around for the whole video. And that's just basically to keep them up on top and get their attention. The camera is placed approximately 8 feet from my bait. So I slash that around, they get interested in the bait, and they'll stay on top and in the light. They seem to have no interest in actually hitting the bait. But an hour later, I did manage to take a subject home for dinner. This video was shot at approximately 11 o'clock when the sun's fairly high in the sky. Typically, you'd want the sun behind you. Even though this was a diffuse light for most of the day, you never want the light to be in front of you. This was shot in about 18 feet of water with uh, perfectly clear ice and a lot of light. If I didn't have that and I was a little deeper, everything would look a little bit green. And I'll show you how to deal with that in your editing program in the next episode. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.